This is how much it costs me to fully furnish and equip a property that I do not own so that I can list it on Airbnb and start earning income off of that property. And if you stay tuned till the end of this video, I will also share you a very strategic and tactical way that you can get this done for free. You can get into one of these leases and get one of these properties furnished for free. And I'll explain that in a little bit more detail at the end of this video. You are more than welcome to stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. What is going on YouTube? My name is Robert. I am a 22 year old Airbnb host and I rent properties and list them on Airbnb and start earning income on top of the rent. This is my strategy. This is the concept that I talk about on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to go over the price breakdown and my total costs to furnish a property, a single family home. It's a three bedroom, one bathroom property. And it'll give you an understanding of what it costs to get started doing this method and how much cash you'll need up front or what strategy you want to take. And in my case, I put all the money up front cash. So I purchased everything with my own money. I didn't finance anything. I didn't float any of the costs. Everything that went into the property was cold hard cash spent. And now I'm looking at a four to five month time period to where I can start uh, using the profits to pay that down. It's going to take me about four to five months to fully pay off that total amount. At the end of the day, everyone is going to have their own taste. Everyone's going to have their own style and interior design is important. And this is something that is unique to the host. 2020 is coming up. I know a lot of you have goals. A lot of you want to get started doing this and therefore this will be a very beneficial video. So let's get into it. In order to fully understand all of the cost breakdown, I'm going to jump into a PowerPoint here and show you everything, all the details kind of run over what my approach was and what you can consider if you want to get started with Airbnb rental arbitrage. Like I said, we're going to break down the furnishing of a rental arbitrage unit and the unit size is a three bedroom, one bathroom located in the Midwest. So my costs are going to vary and they're going to be different. Obviously my rent, my expenses, that type of thing, utilities, it's going to vary across the board. Overall, this will give you a great understanding of what it is that you can expect when you are to get started with this method. And like I said, if you do stay tuned till the very end, I will share a very strategic and tactical approach at how you can get started without actually spending a dime on the front end. So this is a very informative piece of content that I'm making for you here today. And I hope you enjoy. So right away, my costs for permits and licensing fees, uh, broken down right here. So I had to go get a business license and the reason that I'm doing this approach and the reason that I'm doing the legal approach is because I can now take my unit and list it on other various platforms like booking.com, which does require that you have a legal unit. You can't be listing uh, units that are not zoned and are not permitted for short term rentals. And therefore I had to go to the city hall, get a business license and pay for the short term rental application, which was $350. And therefore, the rest of the process involved me doing uh, a, a few things which I've covered in a video, a recent video, actually, uh, talking about the regulation process, you guys can go refer to this right here, I'll leave a card up above this really it ends up being more than just the 350 up front, I had to go buy postage stamps to mail out to uh, all the neighbors within a 500 foot radius of the property and obviously to pack the envelopes and to get paper for printing out uh, 75 letters it cost me 32 dollars and four cents which the total came out to be 448 dollars and 29 cents to get all the permits and licensing fees taken care of i am now permitted i'm now legal i really think it's a very great experience for me to go through and learn the ropes and, and go through the hoops that they require because I now feel like I've developed my character. I've become a better businessman. So let's move forward to items I purchased on the Facebook marketplace. I was able to find a stackable washer and dryer unit for $200 and a stacked bunk bed for $600 and a Zenith platform bed, which I was going to purchase on Amazon, but I found a better deal on Facebook market. The Zenith platform bed was originally 140, 145 on Amazon, the exact same queen size bed that I purchased. I found it on Facebook market for 120 and it came with everything that Amazon would have given me. And therefore you should always refer to Facebook market and other platforms like Craigslist. You, know, you could find great price items there. And I know if you're doing one unit, like how I set this unit up, you know, it's just me setting up one unit. That's totally fair. But if you're scaling and if you have like multiple units, you may not want to use Facebook market as much because it will slow you down 
and it's really a hit or miss with items on Facebook Market. This is something that I encourage beginners, I encourage anyone looking to get started who hasn't really experienced much to get in Facebook Market and find low cost items. For example, this washer dryer unit was originally $1,500 and I got it for $200. The bunk bed that I purchased and people really love, guests really love this bunk bed, was $1,500 and I purchased it for $600 used. You can hardly tell that it's used. And of course, like the platform bed, like I said, I already got a deal on that. So my total cost for Facebook Marketplace items was $920. At Walmart, I went ahead and purchased a bunch of the amenities and the functional amenities. Uh, for like, for example, the kitchen, the microwave, the toaster, the coffee machine, that type of thing. I went ahead and purchased a shower curtain, just little things like that that you you can't overlook. And I also purchased cleaning supplies in this first order, the $637 order you see here. Um, I was able to go ahead and knock out a bunch of the items that are required. You really have to consider that when you are purchasing products for an Airbnb unit, you have to cover every point. You cannot miss a single item and you really have to be fully involved, fully committed. In order to keep up with the standard of expectation from guests, you must go above and beyond and provide all of these things. I went ahead and purchased some interior design items and functional amenities uh, on a second trip to Walmart. I have all these receipts with everything that I purchased, but I think it would be easier just to talk about them instead of showing you a bunch of little transactions because there's a lot. And I went ahead and purchased a few more things that I missed the first time around. And this total came out to be $305.29. And then I was able to get a great Black Friday deal. I was able to purchase three smart TVs, three Roku smart TVs. These are three TVs here that I went ahead and purchased for the three bedrooms. The total cost for all my Walmart products was $1,488.58. Moving forward, let's go to interior design. This is stuff that you throw in as an accent for the property. If you look closely at my listing, you'll see that I have a lot of succulents, a lot of greenery thrown around, just little splashes here and there. And I went ahead and went to Ikea and purchased some stuff there. The total was $140.82. Paintings and plans, like I said, was $111.25. And I went to at home and purchased some accent items for $88.80. And the total of my interior design came out to be $340.87. This is totally realistic. And it's necessary, you have to make it feel homey, you have to make it feel uh, like a, a great place to be, a great place to hang out and spend time. Moving forward, the prorated rent for this property uh, was $425. So when I got back from Europe, it was prorated rent because it was only halfway through the month, and so I paid $425. My total rent cost is $850 a month on this three bedroom, one bathroom. And the internet, I had fiber optics internet installed. You wanna have high quality internet when you set up internet for your units because this is something that's becoming more common across the board. You don't want to have slow, laggy internet. This will give you a bad review. And therefore, I went ahead and got fiber optics from Mediacom. And the installation cost was $69.19 for the contractor to come out and install this. And then from there on out, it's going to be $41.49 a month based off of their promotion. They're doing like a 12-month promotion where it's going to be that low of a cost. The total cost for rent and internet is $494.19. And moving forward, these are the items I purchased from Amazon. So I made a video with my first Amazon order, which totaled out to be $490.01. You guys can refer to this video if you want to see what exactly it is that I purchased. Amazon is a good place to buy when you are getting started because a lot of this stuff comes directly to your doorstep. You don't have to go out and purchase it in store. They just give you boxes full of these amazing things that you can then go and furnish your unit with. So. The first order on Amazon was $490.01 and then I went ahead and made a second order. As you can see, all the rugs that I have in the property and all the accent tables and all the end tables, uh, things like that, I went ahead and made a second order which was uh, $1,179 and the total amount spent on Amazon was $1,669.01. This brings my total cost to furnish this property to $5,368.94. So like I promised, here is how you can do this with no money down. And this is a concept that may seem very frivolous, it may seem very out there, it may be far-fetched for you, but I guarantee you that if you listen to what I'm telling you right now and you implement this, then you will see results. So here's a strategy, in order to acquire a unit uh, with no money, I mean, it sounds, it seems impossible, right? Units, they typically expect first month's rent, last month's rent, a security deposit, that whole type of thing. 
But one way that you can actually go about this is negotiating away these front end expenses, these front end costs. This is possible. Everything in a real estate agreement is negotiable. It's a bilateral contractual agreement between you and the landlord or you and the apartment complex that you're pitching. And therefore, you can approach them and you can get into the lease without having to spend a dime. And trust me, this works. Just try it. It sounds very far fetched. It sounds very far out there. But that way you can get into a lease without any expenditure and how you can start furnishing without any expense, any dollar cost up front. You can just finance the furniture through Airbnb. You can finance the furniture and I know this is going to be, you know, you're taking on debt, but in my opinion, this is good debt you're taking on. You can get a 0% interest credit card and finance the total cost of four to $5,000 and you can completely float the entire year. So let's say there's a 12 month uh, promotion on a 0% interest credit card. You can therefore take that promotion and purchase all this furniture, purchase everything you need in order to get started and then go and pay off that furniture throughout the year. So with this method, obviously your profit margins remain slim. They are smaller profit margins on a monthly basis, but think about 12 months down the road when you've completely paid off that credit card at 0% interest. You know, there's no cost out of your pocket and there's no interest incurring against you. This is a very great way to get started without actually owning any of the furniture without actually paying money up front on deposits and on the lease. So once again, in order to get started for free, you can negotiate away the front end costs and you can finance the furniture and your total invested dollar amount is zero dollars and you will start cash flowing right away, just how I did. Therefore guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. I will see you all in the next video.